Mr. Gloria, can you speak to how important it is? We've heard a lot today that demographic of young men uh, in the community that maybe are right now, like you said and mentioned the programs, uh, that need productive ways to spend their time. How important is it to connect with that demographic and to allow those who are activists in the community to step in and say these are measurable ways that we can make a difference? I actually think the council president in many ways is better suited. This is what he did before he became our council president. Do you mind, Tim, then I'll, I'll wrap up? Okay. Um, just step back for a second. Over the last couple of years, our social fabric has been shredded. Uh, programs and activities that young people were able to count on and take for granted uh, have just been gone. And there's a cost to that. Uh, there's a cost in terms of uh, just the time that is not spent doing good, fun things. There's an emotional cost to that as well. So again, this isn't just a problem amongst young men. I, I don't know that any of us are okay right now. But specifically that group at that period of development, they need love, they need attention, they need support, and it's largely been gone. And it was pulled out from them rapidly, overnight. Um, I'm getting emotional because I'm thinking about the young people that I worked with a couple of years ago and w watching that, watching that, um, watching the rug just pulled out from under them, right? And so we have to embrace them, right? So whether it's uh, the, the work done by CAST and getting out there, or if it's simply investing in jobs and, and after school activities, we need our young folks to feel loved because hurt people hurt people and love people love people. And that might seem overly simplistic. It might, may seem like a, a soft way to address such a serious issue. But I think long term and holistically, that's actually how we make progress.